It is Tori and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about building credit. So first, to put this out there, this video is intended for people that have little to no credit. This is really just how I built my credit from a zero score when I was 18 to now I am 22 with a 750 credit score. So I just wanna show you all how I built that credit and how I am still maintaining that credit and also give you all a few tips that you can carry into your own credit building journey. So the first step for me was to get a small loan for something that was needed. So for me, I really needed a new mattress for my bed. The one that I had was old, worn out. I'd had it for years, so it was definitely time. My mom and I headed over to Shul's to see if they could loan us some money to get a mattress. So for those of you that don't know, Shul's is just a furniture store. Any kind of furniture that you may need for your home, you could probably find at a Shul's. So the way that it works is they run a credit check, they see what your credit already is, and they tell you how much they are willing to loan you based on your current credit situation. So like I said, at this moment, I had no credit. My score was a zero. So they were not willing to loan me a lot of money, <laughs> which makes sense, I don't blame them. But they gave me a small loan to go towards paying for the mattress. We got the loan in my name. So I basically agreed to make monthly payments of I think it was about $80 each month until the mattress was paid off. This way you are paying off your loan, you also are paying for something that is in your name. This was the foundation to building my credit. So if you can take any bit of advice from my first step, then it would be to finance something that you need, something that you already may have and it's getting old or something that you don't have and you really want it for a while. Maybe it's a new laptop, something that you don't mind financing because it's going to bring value to your life with it. The second step for me was to pay off at least like 75% of the payments prior to completely paying off this loan or accruing debt with another loan. So for example, if you are paying for a $1,000 TV, you want to at least pay off $750 worth of payments prior to paying the whole thing off. So maybe you're $500 into paying off your new TV and you have $500 that you just got on your paycheck. You may get excited and think, yay, I can pay off my TV. But in reality, you want to keep making these monthly payments to show the creditors that you can make payments on time. That is the goal. Even if you do get that $500 check and you know that you can pay the rest of the TV off, just put it to the side. And every month, pull out whatever it is your monthly payment is from your stash of $500 and pay off that bill for the month. You want to be very strategic with this because the longer you're making these payments, that is building your credit. That's showing them that you can make payments on time. It's not about having the money, but that you can be responsible with the money, if that makes sense. And keep in mind, this is going to take time. Building your credit is not a overnight thing. For some of you that already know, this is a process that you're going to be in for the long haul. So. Be prepared to be making these payments every month and to slowly but surely see your score go up. Once I paid off my mattress that was behind me, I knew I needed to continue to build my credit in another way. I went to my local credit union and I opened a checking account, a savings account, and I also got a secured credit card. Your credit card is going to be one of your key players in building credit because that's just how it works. <laughs> With a secure credit card, usually your limit is very low. My credit card limit was $200. That's not a lot of money. <laughs> I had to pay that $200 down. So that is why it's called secured. That money is yours. You put that money into the credit card, similar to how you would with a debit card. But now this is your limit that you have set for yourself. Most banks and credit unions will give you this secure loan knowing that you don't have a lot of credit just to help you build it. So this is a really important step for me. I still have this secure credit card. I still use it. 
and I want to tell you how, how I strategically use my secure credit card. For me, step four was to use my secure credit card only for bills and online payments. So for me, I just have two simple payments that I use my secure credit card for. These are two bills that have to get paid every month regardless. Instead of using my credit card for things that I don't need, for things that I can't afford, for things that I don't have the money for, I'm using my credit card for things that I already have money sitting aside for anyways. The credit card is just kind of like an intermediary transaction um, before the end stage. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then before the month is over, you want to go and pay off the credit card balance that you created. So now, essentially, you're really killing two birds with one stone. Um, you're using this card to pay off your bills and then you're paying off the bill that is associated with the card. Another important thing for me to follow is to always pay off the credit card. Always pay off the credit card. One last time, always pay off the credit card. <laughs> this will keep your balances low or almost at a zero and that is what's important. That's gonna be your key player in building this credit. Do not let your credit card balance roll over to the next month because that is how they get you at that moment is when interest will accrue on your account. And that takes me to a few key tips on how I keep this process going and how I keep my credit score increasing at a steady pace. As I've said in previous videos, don't spend money on things that you don't need. The only thing that I really use my credit card for on a spur of the moment basis is food. So if I am starving, but even then, you don't want to get in the habit of buying food here or there on your credit card because once you get in the habit of that, you're not really being responsible with your money. You are just using last ditch efforts when you can plan better. I already touched on this earlier, but keep your account balances low or at a zero because that interest is a killer. That is how the banks make their money off of the interest that you pay. So if you keep your balances low, then you will never have to pay interest. I have never paid interest ever because I always pay off my balance before the month is over and my balance is at a zero. Another and maybe the most important key tip is to get serious. Your credit score is going to follow you throughout your whole life, literally. Get serious about it. Know that the way that you're building your credit is going to work. You are going to do it. It's going to be fine. It's going to take a while, but you're going to make it. And just be confident in your ability to do so and be serious in your spending habits, your saving habits, and just make sure that you are staying on point with your goals, keeping your goals aligned, all of that. You just want to be serious about this credit thing. Do not play around with your credit because you will regret it and you'll be playing catch up later on in life. Another important tip that might be overlooked is to only put your name on things that are yours. If somebody, your friend, your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad, whoever ask you to sign your name on something that is not yours and that you are not going to be directly using, nothing that directly affects you, say no. <laughs> because you cannot afford for your credit to be messed up because of somebody else. And like I said, it's sad that you even have to say that, but it does happen and I'm warning you, say no. I just want to say thank you to my mom <laughs> because as soon as I turned 18, she was like, we need to start building your credit. And a lot of these tips that I'm giving you all today, she helped me with and she helped me make the decisions on what kind of credit card that I wanted to get and what kind of loan that I wanted to get. So thanks mom. <laughs> I really hope this video was helpful for you all, either other college students like me or young adults who are thinking about ways to build their credit. I hope that I have done a good job communicating with you all how I've done that. If there's anything that is fuzzy to you or that you have questions on or you want some advice on, please don't hesitate to comment below. If you follow me on Instagram, you can shoot me a DM if you want it to be a little bit more personal. Whatever works for you. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like down below, 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I thank you all so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day.